আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতু डियर স্টুডেন্টস অফ ক্লাস 3 ইংলিশ ভার্সন বান্দরবান ক্যান্টনমেন্ট পাবলিক স্কুল এন্ড কলেজ ওয়েলকাম টু টুডেস অনলাইন ক্লাস डियर স্টুডেন্টস আম মোহাম্মদ হাবিবুল্লাহ ইমাম এন্ড অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট টিচার বান্দরবান ক্যান্টনমেন্ট পাবলিক স্কুল এন্ড কলেজ डियर স্টুডেন্টস হাউ আর ইউ হোপ you are fine alhamdulillah i'm fine too today i'm going to take a class on the subject islam and moral education on the topic ibadat so let's start learning outcomes dear students by the class you can solve some question inshallah dear students first of all you have to put a tick mark on the right answer okay so you should read the textbook well then you can answer the question question inshallah so look at the screen and try to answer okay a whose command is to perform salat in time number 1 father number 2 mother number 3 allah and number 4 teacher dear students think which is answer whose command father no mother no allah yes allah's command is to perform salat in time okay so the answer is allah okay now look at uh, b what is to wash the hands up to the elbow in wudu what is number 1 sunnah number 2 first number 3 nafal and number 4 wajib so think to wash the hands up to the elbow what sunnah or farz or nafal or wajib which is answer sunnah no farz yes to wash the hands up to elbow is farz okay so uh, the the answer is fours okay hope you have understood now look at c where will women place their hands while performing salat where number 1 below their chest number 2 on their navel number 3 up their navel and number 4 on their chest which is answer please think where will women place their hands where below their chest no on their navel no up their navel no on their chest yes on their chest this is answer okay so women place their hands while performing salat on their chest okay now look at d when do we have to say sana when number 1 at the end of salat number 2 at the middle of salat number 3 at the beginning of salat and number 4 after fixing tahrima which is answer please think when do we have to say sana when at the end of salat no at the middle of salat no at the beginning of salat no at the beginning of salat we have to say niyat okay after fixing tahrima yes this is answer after fixing tahrima we have to say sana okay so this is answer now look at e what do we have to say before beginning anything good what bismillah number 2 subhanallah number 3 masha allah and number 4 inna illa what Yes bismillah we have to say before beginning anything good bismillah okay so this is answer bismillah 
now look at if which one of the following does b of c is the which number one law akbar number two subhanallah number three rabbana laka alhamd and number four subhana rabbi al-ala which is answer yes subhana rabbi al-ala is as b of sajda okay so dear students hope you have understood well putting tick mark on the right answer now fill in the blanks number one allah ta'ala has forbidden to tell what please think what will be answer yes a lie to tell a lie okay a lie is answer number two to remain clean and pure is a what is, which is answer yes is a half part of iman we know that to remain clean and pure is a half part of iman okay number three dash 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 of wadu r4 it means how many uh, fours are there in wadu how many four okay so what will be answer forges okay forges of wadu are four what forges of wadu are four okay so look at uh, four at the beginning of salat we have to say what i told you uh, before yes niyat at the beginning of salat we have to say what niyat and number five salat is complete with what with salam okay when we complete our salat we have to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh so dear students hope you have understood the answer well now i mentioned here the answer uh, you have to memorize them okay uh, a and a, a ally okay a, a ally is answer and uh, for number b half part is answer now uh, for number c uh, for this is answer now uh, for number d niyat is answer and for number e with salam will be answer okay now some short question for you look at the screen and listen to me uh, number one what is the tasbi of ruku hope you know that well okay the tasbi of ruku is subhan rabbi al azim number two what is the tasbi of sizda hope you know that the tasbi of sizda is subhan rabbi al a'la number three how many walked of salat are there hope you know that how many walked yes five walked okay so there are five walked of salat okay number four how many forts are there in wadu how many hope you know that well okay how many four so uh, the answer is there are four forts in wadu okay number five how many pillars are there in islam how many yes five okay our great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, told that islam has five pillars okay so uh, the answer is there are five pillars in islam okay do you know what they are yes please think okay i say uh tawhid kalima salat saum zakat and hajj okay these are these five are pillars of islam okay so dear students uh, the question questions are very important for you so you have to memorize uh, the answer because these are very important for your exam okay so hope you will memorize them well so be safe uh, stay at home allah hafiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh